okay so before this video starts i realized last night when i was done filming my video that i didn't even include the reason why an 18 year old had to get her gd i'm pretty sure i was the youngest person to walk yesterday and um that's probably gonna be a question asked but basically whenever i was a freshman i was in public school and then when i was a sophomore i was also in public school and then in the middle of um sophomore year i was like i don't want to be in public school anymore i talked about it with my parents and both of them actually didn't agree to let me be homeschooled but my mom did and i somehow became homeschooled so i went to a private christian academy homeschool it was really expensive and I paid for it myself because my mom was like, if you want to be homeschooled, you can pay for it yourself. So that's what I did. I, at the time, I was like, that makes sense. Now looking back on it, like what the heck, it was literally so expensive and I was paying for it. So whenever I became a senior, I was like, there was another option for me to do night school that was not even... I don't even think it cost any money it was like free and you can go to night school get your credits and graduate with a high school diploma so i was like okay great that sounds amazing because at the time i was paying a lot of money for this school and i could get the same thing as long as i went to night school so i was like okay cool so i unenrolled from the academy and after i unenrolled I was told that since I unenrolled from that school, my credits are no longer accredited. And I only had two options. I could restart junior year all over again and graduate next year while all of my friends graduate this year, or I could get my GED and only have to graduate like a month after them. On my diploma, it says equivalent to high school diploma, so it's literally the same thing. The only difference is I can't go to an Ivy League school, and I've never even wanted to go to college anyway, so it literally doesn't bug me at all. So that's why I had to get my GED at such a young age. Um, and then a few other things that I'm going to address before this video starts. Uh, the lighting in the bathroom was so bad and I'm so sorry I reset my settings before I took the video why I don't know but that's what I did second my skin gross I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry uh, I think that's it there might be something else I don't know but thank you for watching well you haven't even watched the video yet but have fun watching the video hope you enjoy okay so i'm starting this video off in the parking lot my skin looks like trash my hair looks like trash it's cool um the dress that i ordered for graduation didn't come in time so i'm gonna go to the mall and try to find a dress that i like and then i asked if i could get my money back since they haven't even shipped it yet and then they said no you can get in store credits i don't want in store credit it's a dress store i don't have anywhere else to wear a dress so that's fun. That was, that was just like me complaining. Anyway, um, wow. I'm gonna vlog whenever I try on dresses because I literally graduate in like three hours and I don't have a dress. This girl is really looking at me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the car now. I ended up going with the third dress that I um, showed and the second skirt that I tried on was so cute. It was a size small, but it was way too big for me. I don't know what's wrong with my body. I have so many skirts and they never fit. He always wants to say something and they never fit, so that really sucks. But I found the dress. Okay. Got my water. 
Um, what I was saying is I don't know if the audio sounds like great or not because I bought a speaker and it was too big for my camera. Thanks, Alicia Marie. I followed her how to start a YouTube channel setup or whatever. I got the microphone she told me to get and it didn't even fit. So I'm also looking at myself. There's a mirror here, toilet back there. Anyway, um, any products that I talk about, I will link down below. I look like a crackhead, but like, whatever. This palette smells so good. Okay, so I have this thing, this primer for redness. So I'm just gonna put it on my chin and under my nose, which is where my redness is really at right now. And then rub that in. And then just for primer all over my face, I'm gonna use the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. It smells like coconuts. I guess I'm like nervous or something because my skin right here is breaking out but like literally like for real four days ago my skin looked perfectly fine except on my chin because my chin is always breaking out pretty much but um if your chin is always breaking out and the rest of your face is fine which is my skin 90% of the time it's because of hormones so that's super fun. So now I use the Morphe Beauty Blender Beauty Sponge. My two favorite um, beauty sponges, beauty sponges, are the Real Techniques one, which is this one, and then the Morphe Morphe one, which I just said not even a minute ago. I need help. Um. So I'm going to use the Estee Lauder foundation. I'm pretty sure, I don't know, this was my exact skin tone literally like a month ago or maybe less whenever I went to prom. I literally barely even used any of it, but I don't know if it is now. So I guess if anything, I can like really bronze my skin. Um, I don't know what shade I'm in. 3W1. Okay. Like when I'm blending it out, it just looks a little pasty. Now I'm going to use the Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. I kind of just go in with this and hope for the best. Because it means it's okay, but like, I don't know, after you try Shape Tape, it's just not comparable to anything else. Some people say that they find things that are comparable to shape tape. I, I've tried. Okay, and then going in with shape tape. I'm gonna I'll put on my chin, which really needs some love. And then under my nose, because literally a pimple just popped up there in the middle of the day, so that's fun on my forehead right here. There we go. I kind of look really dead. I kind of look really dead because I just have foundation and eyebrows on and that's really... You don't do that unless I guess if you look good like that. Personally, I just don't. And then the CoverGirl Chocoholic Contour Palette. This doesn't really blend out the best. When I first got it, it did. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't know how to blend anymore. But I try to put a lot on and blend it as best as I can. But like, it's okay because my blush will blend in well. Well enough. Like, it kind of just looks like a line. Just blend it. Alright, now... 
I'm gonna pull back my hair to really have a big forehead and try to contour that because it needs all the help it can get. Now I'm looking less dead, in my opinion. We can only help. And I don't contour my jawline because it always makes me look like a low-key got a beard growing in. And I also don't contour my nose because every time I contour my nose, it for some reason looks bigger. For me, makeup is just a guessing game. Sometimes I do my makeup and it turns out so amazing. Sometimes I do my makeup and I look like Shrek. Like, for real. Like, I look like Shrek. Okay, next we're going to take some powder to set my face. This is just the Fit Me powder. And try to blend it in as well as I can. I'm going to put it on blush. Personally, this is my favorite blush palette I've ever had in my entire life. And then go on the apples of my cheeks. Sometimes I get carried away. Today we're going to try not to get carried away. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, probably not because I'm keep on looking in the mirror. But this eye right here, my eyelashes go out like this. And then on my other eye, my eyelashes go out like this. On one side of my face, I look like a girl. And on the other side of my face, I look like a man. Um, this side of my face is a girly side because my eyelashes go out. And if you want to know why, one day in middle school, I was sleeping on my brother's bed. Why? I don't know. I've literally fallen asleep at a party before. I love sleeping. It's kind of sad. My contact is like moving around. But uh, I was sleeping and my sister did a backflip on my face. So my eye slowly started swelling up. Bigger and bigger and bigger. And my mom sucks. So she just didn't take me to the hospital for a while. She's like, it'll go down. It never went down. So when we went to the hospital, they were like, you're gonna have to go to the children's hospital in Nashville. So we went to the children's hospital and they were like, my contact is literally so dry. Okay. They were like, you're gonna have to come back and you're gonna have to have surgery. So I went back and I had surgery. And that's the story on why one of my eyes is droopy and the other one isn't. So now I'm gonna take this Urban Decay primer and then on the other side, I'm just wearing black. So like I can literally wear whatever color eyeshadow I want. Anyway, so I'm gonna use this tartlet palette and then this Too Faced palette together. And my cousin just snapshot on me. I'm trying to do this fast because I know whenever my other relatives get here, it's going to be really, really loud. And right now it's completely silent, so I need to be fast. But yeah, so we're going to use the color Sunset. It's right here. Okay, cool. Okay, so I blended both sides and now I'm just going to go in with the same color on my bottom lids bottom lash line and then I'm going to take this brush and it's the same one I mean, it's the same kind that I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar this brush is really good and I'm just going to take my powder color this is probably such a weird thing for people I've never seen anyone do it and I, I don't like highlight on my brow bone. I think I have oily skin, so it just looks stupid on me. So I just take the same powder that I use all over my face and I blend it in right here, but it's gonna take a minute, so. Okay. So now I'm done with that. And what am I gonna do next? Mascara. I'm gonna put on lashes too, but I always put my mascara on first. 
I've only ever seen Tana Mojo do that and she's not a beauty hero, so that's the only way I can get them all on. Okay, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so these are the lashes I'm going to use. They're by Ivor and they're number 117. And then I found the Duo Lash Glue. This is my favorite lash glue. I feel like black is really messy and you're probably like a professional eyelash putter on her. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to put these on and I'm going to come back. These are literally my favorite lashes ever. I feel like they look a little crooked in the camera. Or maybe it's just my eyes. I feel like it still looks a little crooked. Um, I just think they're really easy to put on and usually whenever I put on lashes, I look younger, but with these, I feel like I don't, so that's good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on eyeliner basically inside my eye, but it looks way better like that, so. I can't do this on camera. Now I want to set it because usually whenever, or used to, whenever I would put the eyeliner there, it would never stay. So I'm going to take this color and it's sparkly, so that's cool. I'm going to take this color and set it. So now I'm just going to go back to my eyebrows because that's what I usually do. And we're going to sort of fix them up. I'm gonna set my face, put on highlighter, and then I'll be done. Oh, and then lips, and then I'll be done with my face makeup. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm not gonna talk too much, but this is what I look like. I'll get someone to film me with my shoes on. Bye. Okay, now I'm in the car, and I don't look like an Oklahoma anymore. The lighting in the bathroom made me look. <laughs> Literally like Winnie the Pooh color. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh color. Like I looked like an Oompa But this lighting's still kind of janky, but. You're so pretty. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's the update. We're in the car. We're late. I'm, we're supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be there right now. But it's cool. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah. That's not what they say to me. Yeah. Bye. Pull it. Come on. It's a video. Wait, it's is it on? on. Oh. I turned it on for you. Thanks. So pretty. Hey guys. Haven't graduated yet. Hi, Mima. Hi, Mom. Hi, everyone. Hi. It's really dark. I mean, it's really bright back there. Let me change the. That's just zooming in. <laughs> okay. So, right now we're sitting and we're waiting for everyone to get their capping gowns. Um. Yeah, it's, I don't know how to work this camera. It is literally so bright back there. Right here is perfect. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Like back there, like in real life, it's not this bright. Okay. Hey guys, it's Alana. Alana's lining up right now. And I just want to say that I'm very proud of her. And we're all very proud of her. Yes. We're all very proud of you, Atlanta. And yeah. My hair looks really bad now. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, my hair looks really bad now. I just took my hat off. My curls are no longer in. I have some nice hat hair. Um, 
they spelled my name. They didn't even, this is someone else's name on these papers, but they're gonna give me a new one, so that's good. Wow, light is cute. You can't even see it. Oh. So cute. Okay. They're like glitched out. Oh, look crusty. A little glitch in the matrix. I mean, no, these things. Ew, they're why does it look like that? I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, you guys can't really no, see it. I don't think so, but it's like really glitched. Oh, they can see it. I mean, I can okay, it. well. <laughs> I think I'm like getting pizza five for dinner, but this isn't like a vlog vlog. This is a graduation vlog. Oh my god, I'm sorry if it's out of focus. Okay, so I'm finally ending this video, which is weird because this video probably, you probably watched it, it's probably around 10 minutes long. And for me, I've been up since 10.30 or 10 a.m. doing stuff. My hair looks bad. It's cool. It's fine. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is the first video that I'm filming, but this isn't the first video that I'm uploading. So, if it was all over the place, sorry. The only thing that I didn't film was when... Oh, yeah. My friend said you look really, really, very pretty. Thank you. Do you want to say bye to my video? Bye, Lena's vlog. It's not a vlog. It's, I guess it's like a vlog for my main channel. Bye, Lena's main channel vlog. By the way, I'm going to link down below. Okay. Either go in or go out. I'm in. By the way, I'm gonna link down below um, my vlog channel, but I'm probably not gonna upload on it for like a month or two because whenever I do start uploading, I wanna upload consistently and not just stop. But anyway, I don't even know what I was saying. Just thank you guys for watching so much. Subscribe if you wanna. Bye! Subscribe to my channel. I have more <laughs> videos.